Sadly, there are many women out there who believe that covering your head while praying is simply a personal choice, but the Bible does not tell us so. Um, God has determined and established a uh, very clear headship uh, standard that we should respect and obey. And we're going to go, I'm going to show you in 1 Corinthians 11 how clear this headship is and how clear it is that it's not only for the people in in Corinth as some women some Christian women falsely believe you know they think oh well the head covering was only for the people in Corinth it was only for the Corinthian uh, women when in fact that is just not simply uh, the truth uh, we are to cover our heads when we pray we are to honor the Lord by doing so and uh, this is not a personal choice this is about obeying uh, the lord jesus christ so let's go to first corinthians 11 i'm gonna start with verse 3 so verse 3 but i would have you know that the head of every man is christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of christ is god now is paul saying that the head of every man in corinth is Christ and the head of every woman in Corinth is the man you know it doesn't make any sense no Paul is saying the head of every man is Christ and the head of every woman not only women in Corinth but every woman is the man and the head of Christ is God excuse me so this is a general um, headship standard or however you want to call it this is the way that the Lord has established things and this is the way that it is for everybody this was not simply for the Corinthians I pray that you will receive this because there are too many women I see online you know saying things that are not true okay and teaching other women things that are not true uh, let's go on to verse every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonor it his head so every man who covers his head while praying dishonors his head which is Christ okay so his head the head covering spoken of here is not his hair because if it would be his hair then men every Christian man is dishonoring God and they should all shave their heads okay every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonor it his head so if a man co covers his head he's dishonoring christ verse 5 but every woman see paul continues in the same you know thought but every woman that pray it or prophesy it with her head uncovered okay not with her head uh shaved with her head uncovered okay paul was talking about a covering in verse 4 of the man now he's talking about the same covering a head covering but every woman that prayed or prophesied with her head uncovered dishonored her head which is the man her husband if she's not married she's dishonoring Christ even if she's married she's dishonoring Christ as well for that is even all one as if she were shaven okay so I know that a lot of women um, do not like this I I've heard even of a woman who contacted me and told me that she she would want to cover her head but her husband who is a Christian doesn't like the idea of her covering her head now I have no idea why but um, you know he is not obeying what the, the, the Word of God is saying and she is causing her wife to you know not obey the Word of God either you know ultimately if you're a woman and your husband doesn't want you to cover your head um, you know, I, I'm sure that it's not a pleasant situation to be in. But, um, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But the word of God says that we are to obey God rather than men. You know, if you have a husband that uh, 
clearly goes against scripture. You are to obey scripture before you obey your husband. And um, But anyways, that's a whole other issue. The point is that this is a command for everybody. This is not just for the Corinthian women. The headship was not just established, um, established, excuse me, by God for the Corinthians. This is for everybody. This is very general. So I... I urge you to obey this if you're a woman and to stop listening to women who are just rebellious and don't don't really care um, about, you know, serving God 100% and obeying him 100% um, and want to find excuses or whatever, you know, that is all I wanted to say. So I pray that this message is a blessing for you. Thank you for watching.